Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Forutech. So yesterday we created a video for the new OT of stable nothing OS 1.1.8 and what we will build you can check that video from the iCard. But before release of the stable build nothing has already made available the new open beta 2 1.5.1. You can check that also from the iCard link. Now it's time to flash this OTA and we'll give the full review of the update like how to flash it, what's new gets under the about phone, full walkthrough of new features in this new OTA, its performance and stability comparison with the previous builds and finally I shown some bugs in this OTA along with my final verdict. Do you want to upgrade or not? So watch the video till the end. So if you want to try this build then you must be on the latest open beta 1 1.5. We will not get this OTA on the stable nothing OS 1.8 not even on the 1.7. You will need to first upgrade to the open beta 1.5 from stable nothingOS 1.1.7 only. You can't able to flash the open beta on the nothingOS 1.1.8, it will give you some errors. So I will create another video how to downgrade from the nothingOS 1.1.8 to stable nothingOS 1.1.7. You can also use that tutorial to downgrade your device to the older builds of nothingOS and the custom ROM to the stock nothingOS. Video will be posted day after tomorrow. I assume that you are now on the NothingOS 1.5 beta 1. Now download the NothingOS 1.5.1 update from the link given under the video description. Create the OTA named folder in the root of the storage using the file manager. Now move the NothingOS beta 2 package inside the OTA folder. Now go to the dialer and dial star hash star as 682 hash star hash star. You will get the OTA update user interface. There you will get the OTA update package that we placed in the OTA folder. Select it and that's it. Flashing process will start while flashing phone reboots. Whole process of flashing will take 8 to 10 minutes. So everything is done here. Now without further ado, let's get started. Phone booted to the new NothingOS 1.5.1 .1 Beta 2. Let's jump to the about phone to check the details of the new OTA. So NothingOS version is now upgraded to the NothingOS 1.5.1. .1. If you tap on the OTA it will show you we are on the latest Android 13 Beta update. Build number of this update is Space War T 1.5 build date on the 11th January 2023. Under the Android version tab it will show you this is the Android 13 build with its material clock static. Android 13 security patch is upgraded to the latest January 2023. Last build was on the December security patch. Google Play Protect security patch is of same like old build, it's August 2022. You can manually upgrade this to the latest in the security setting. Conversion is also same like old build, it's 5.4.197. If you check the stable build 1.1.8, it has the old kernel version that is the 5.4.147. So definitely new beta build is based on the all the new sources. Now let's check out all the new amazing features and the addition by the nothing in this new OTA. First changes they have made in the wallpaper section. They added their own 6 new minimalistic material new wallpapers. Actually I was really amazed with the quality and finishing of these wallpapers. They are looking just wow. You can check the preview of these wallpapers as on the screen. Next added the new option lost screen shortcuts under the display and the lost screen setting. Here we get the new different applications or the quick action shortcuts for the left and the right corners of the lost screen. If you don't want to use this then keep the both the setting as a nil. Next they improved the transition animation effect for the on and off mode for the lost screen. And it also felt smoother on the AOD display. Next they improved the device display algorithms for the auto brightness, device is now maintaining the proper level of brightness as per the external conditions. Next they improved the NothingOS camera application user interface and the animations. I also got one new feature in the setting of the camera like tap the screen to take the photos 
and another one is press and hold the power button to take the photos or use the brush mode. Except this everything is working but still they didn't add the 4K 60fps video recording which is necessary for the camera lovers. If you are using the dual sim in the previous versions every time we need to go to the main setting to switch the data networks between the two sims. But now it's made easier in this new OTA. We get the switch option if you tap on the big rounded network tile. New pop-ups open with this option. It's very convenient feature. Next to get the new pop-up view option in the drop down menu if you long press on any recent application. It will open the separate window for that app. We can move this window anywhere on the screen. If you want to dismiss it, drag it to the top of the screen near to the remove option. We can't run the multiple application window at the same time. If you want to enlarge the window, just tap on the top right edge of the window. To minimize it, again repeat the same process. This application window can be used anywhere on the top of any currently running application. It's pretty useful feature for the multitasking purpose. In this new OTA, Nothing has added the new application called as Nothing X. This application now also available in the stable Nothing OS 1.1.8. It's an application to control the Nothing Gear 1 wireless birds. As currently our Nothing Gear 1 birds are available at the another member of channel, so I can't able to show you its detailed interface, but it has nice UI for the searching Bluetooth devices. Still, I tried to connect my Oppo Echno M31, but it's not getting detected. You can also check your earphones and let us know in the comment section is it working for any third-party Bluetooth earphones or not. Next amazing thing added by the Nothing is the new ringtones and the notification sounds for the Glyph interface. In the Glyph setting, now get the two options like the Nothing Machine 1, which has the old ringtones, while another one is the Nothing Machine 2, which has different few ringtones. You can check some of them as on the screen. As per the change log, they mentioned that they improved the battery performance for this new build, so I will thoroughly test this build for the two days and will report its results with the community post, so stay tuned to our channel. Now it's time to check the performance of this new update. As usual, device felt very smooth, like old beta updates. For stable build 1.1.8, I felt the same experience. It's blazing fast and super smooth, but device screen refresh rate is fluctuating all the time between 120Hz and 60Hz. Especially while using the camera application, it going down to the 60 Hz. When I ran the Geekbench test, I got the score of 711 and 2832. If you check the old beta 1 result, it was 813 and 2925. So old build of nothing was beta 1 has better results. But if you check the results of stable 1.1.8, it has 581 and 2781. So nothing was beta is superior in terms of the numerical results as compared to the stable builds. But still, it's not a big visible difference to capture. Next, I did the Hulkan Graphics API test and I got the score of 2314. If we compare this with the old beta one, there we got double 287. And for the stable 1.1.8, it was 2348. So overall, all the builds has the almost nearly same results. Only negligible difference is found here. I think only Pixel Plus UI custom ROM given me amazing results for the Geekbench. You can check that video from the iCard. Now it's time to test the CPU stability in the heavy task. I ran the CPU total test at the 20 threads when the CPU temperature ranging between 37 to 42 degrees Celsius. While running the test suddenly immediately after 2 and half minutes, hold the yellowish line in the graph started and when I stopped the test I got the score of 77%. CPU temperature during this test is rising between 47 to 52 degrees Celsius. So to reconfirm the results, I cooled down the device to the normal 32 to 37 degrees Celsius and ran the test once more. Graph seems okay this time but still it has some fluctuations but I got the score of 92% this time. This issue I facing from the last table nothing was 1.1.7. For first test results were worst and then when I cooled down the device who gets the normal scores. I never faced such issue for any other older builds. So nothing has to check the CPU throttle governance for these updates before releasing the next OTA. So we discussed all the things, now it's time to tell you the bugs. If you are power user means you unlocked the bootloader previously, then you may face safety net fail issue. 
means you can't run the banking and the secure applications on the unlocked bootloader. But you can solve this issue by relocking the bootloader as shown in the iCard video with the correct file as per your device firmware. Wide one security is showing the L1 for me, but because of device play protect showing the uncertified, you can't install the Netflix and the Amazon Prime like applications. Both of these issues are for the unlocked bootloader users, not for the normal users. Except that I did not found any other issues. 5G network is supporting for me on the Airtel SIM, but some users reported 5G for the Geo is not working in India on this update. So nothing has immediately released the new hotfix update of nothing OS 1.5.1 beta 2 hotfix. If you are facing that issue, then flash the 24 MB package after updating to the nothing OS 1.5.1 beta 2 like you shown in the intro of the video. So this is all about the new OT of nothing OS 1.5.1 beta 2 which has amazing features and it's based on the latest sources so definitely we need to upgrade to this OTA if you really want to test the Android 13 on your nothing phone 1. Battery results will be posted with the community post after 2 days so stay tuned. Until then if you think this video helped you then please do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.